Hey guys, what's going on? Juicy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video. And a little late for me to be making this video, to be honest with you guys. I was kind of up and back and forth on whether or not I was even going to make this video, but I felt like there's going to be enough significant changes with what uh, Redley's kind of talked about, especially Toller. Now, this, this information came out multiple hours ago at the time of me recording this, but there is going to be some significant changes to the shops both for Butters' shop and Cartman's shop here in the near future. So I felt like I should discuss it with you guys, because I think some of you guys don't look at the developer update information uh, that's posted to, uh, you know, the Ubisoft forums every single week, uh, you, on Mondays generally. Uh, sometimes they are delayed till Tuesday, but almost every time it's on Mondays. Uh, so, uh, it, you know, I felt like I needed to discuss this upcoming shop changes. Now, as far as everything else going on this week, or as far as the information very brief not really anything super important to be honest with you guys just this part right here at the bottom of the notes for the dev update and it says that's right some exciting developer up, uh, new updates coming to phone destroyers we decided to revamp the shops now let me just go ahead and put this out here does this change does this make the game better i think yes based on what is being said is this going to fix the game Heck no, but this is a positive change. I th we need baby. We need to learn to crawl before we can, you know, walk and run. Right. So any significant quality of life changes that Red Links is deciding to make here is a positive for this game. It is. It really is. Is this going to save this game? No. I, I, like like I already have stated. But I think this is a positive change. It's a step in the right direction. There are many more steps to take to make this game better. But this is a positive step. This is something I did not expect, to be honest with you guys. Anyways, so it's saying starting this week, no exact date to be determined. Normally when they say things like this, in all honesty, the effect takes a couple of days to happen. So usually about Wednesday of the week that they announce a change like this is usually when something like this will take effect. Again, I don't know. They haven't given an exact date as far as I know. Toller hasn't given us exact information on this still, even at the recording of this. But I'm going to venture a guess and say potentially by Wednesday is when this will take effect. So a couple of days after I actually upload this video is most likely when this will take effect. Cartman Shop will begin selling not only gold materials, but also epic cards. Now, epic cards are available in Butters' shop. It has never been available in Cartman Shop to my knowledge, obviously you could potentially have a legendary as a daily deal, yada yada. So this is a positive that you can have now more potential to get epics. Now, again, most likely it will cost coins. That is what Cartman Shop uses for currency is coins versus tickets by butters. Um, so that's most likely how you're going to be able to purchase these. We don't know the cost of an epic card in coins. My guess, let's see, it's 700 uh, PVP tickets. I would guess 1,000 to 1,500 gold for one um, for, for one epic. That might be a little uh, extensively high. Uh, I could be proven wrong. Um, I'm going to say probably close to it, maybe 750 to 1,000. But I'm, I'm, my guess, my, my gut is leaning towards like 1,000 gold. This is a positive for more free-to-play players. It's a more opportunity to get epics. Now, granted, yes, gold is uh, kind of a commodity that can sometimes be hard to come by, especially once you're really starting to upgrade cards. So this, so there's some pros and cons to this, obviously, but I think this is still a positive in the end. These will become available to all new kids once they reach Arena 5. So it's still the same. So there is, so as far as it seems like with the epic cards and the gold materials, that won't become available until you reach Arena 5. So it's the same part where now Adventure Locking ends as well. Um, and that's fairly close. Fairly early on into the game, so honestly, most of you, even newer players, should get access to this fairly quickly. The PvE shot will also become beginning some new items in the form of outfits, so I, I guess some people really are concerned about outfits. To be honest to me, this part doesn't really affect me personally. It might to some people. Some people want to make their new kid look cooler, I guess. But we lose a precious commodity by them adding this feature, which we'll talk about here in a second. We're going to take some of the previously unreleased looks to Butters so you can add them to your closet. This won't be the only place to find them, however. We're also revamping Daily Deals. So it looks like in Daily Deals now, you could also potentially get outfits as well. 
but no longer will you find materials, coins, or cash in the daily deals section. Now this is kind of disappointing. So yes, you could have bought in coins for a discounted amount for straight cash. You also could get potentially free cash, up to 25 cash, I believe, was the most you could get in a daily deal. Maybe you could get more, but I have only able, 25 was the most I was able to ever receive. And you can't find materials, so my guess is you can't buy gold anymore? Maybe? I'm not sure. I think that's what some people were interpreting by this, but it's not really officially stated. Um, and they're reducing the price of all daily deals by 40%. Now, does that mean that a legendary card, which was 2000 uh, was 2000 what, uh, in-game cash to get, does that mean that that got dropped by 40%? Because if so, that is actually a huge positive, in all honesty, to make it to where it's not a $20 purchase uh, US dollar to get one legendary card. It's going to be 40% cheaper, which means it'd be what, like 1200 1400 in-game cash? You'd save like 600 cash, like six bucks? It's not a bad, a bad deal. Um, I don't know if that's true or not. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Additionally, we've got changes coming to shop packs as well. Silver packs are going to get buffed. As far, <laughs> this is weird to talk about essentially buffs for <laughs> packs. Um, silver packs, five more cards before. We'll have a 5% increased chance at a legendary card. That's not much. I mean, you know, it's more, it's better than nothing, I guess. Uh, arena packs one to four will have 40% increased chance of legendary, five to seven, 45%, eight to 10, 50%. And legendary arena packs will have a 60% increased chance of legendary compared to the old packs. I don't know. I think it was uh, four. You almost get 60% increased chance on top of what the current amount is. That could be a decent amount. Now I kind of want to see what they are right now to kind of get a comparison. All right, so let's uh, let's check this out. Why don't we? Um, so if we look at packs now, I'm in Legendary Arena. Don't care about the Sci-Fi Boosted Pack? I want to check this out. So we have a 60% chance at a Legendary. Based on what this says, it says a 60% increased chance of a Legendary from the old packs and Legendary Arena packs. So that means you get a you get a 100% chance at a Legendary card now, with no cost increase. So, I mean, it is 3,000, you know, it's 3,000 cash. So that's more than just a straight up legendary purchase. I don't know if that's true or not. No, we really, <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know why my finger is pressing that button constantly. So we're saying we're basically getting a guaranteed legendary every time we buy one of these packs. If, you know, I mean, you know, wording's everything, right? That's, that's what we're saying. Legendary arena packs, 60% increased chance of legendary compared to old packs. Okay, um, for gold then it's saying it's 60% increased on this one, which means it'd be... There's no way that's true, man. So we're going to go up to 75% chance for a legendary off a gold pack? I mean, yeah, it's not guaranteed, but... I... Mm... <laughs> or are we saying that it's going from, I mean, I, again, we're going to have to wait and see. Are we saying it's going from 15% to 60 or 50% basically for the golds? Oh, I'm sorry. Gold packs and theme packs will have a 25% increased chance of legendary compared to old packs. Okay. So it's going up to 40%. So these golds are going up to 40%. I stand corrected, but we're, but basically we're arguing, like, based on the wording, it's saying that legendaries are guaranteed legis. And we're saying theme packs, so that would be, I think it's like 7%, it's like 5%, so you're going from 5 to 30, 30% chance, but I mean, you look at these, you already get a guaranteed legendary at, after a certain point, right? So, so if, once I open three more of these silvers, I'm guaranteed a legendary. Um, with the 27 of 30, as you see here, you, you purchase 10 of these, you get a guaranteed legendary. If you, if you don't get a legendary or if you get a legendary, I'm sorry, it resets this countdown timer. So, I mean, that's, those are positives. But again, how many times do people realistically buy these packs? I mean, I don't, I really don't. I bought these packs one time for a video that I made once before about when these packs first got upgraded. I did buy one of each of these packs to see, you know, kind of what rewards I got from it. And I was lucky enough to get an actual legendary from the legendary pack. 
but realistically i don't think many people buy these packs at all maybe some buy these theme packs or the material packs the material pack honestly if you're really hurting for materials the material pack for the 275 actually isn't too bad of a deal um in all honesty but you know how you know how good is this really going to be we're just going to have to kind of wait and see right with everything but um you know that's that's interesting right um you know i know i don't know if excited is the word but it also looks like we're going to get cheesy poofs potentially starting next week for the first time in 2022 nothing official um but you know obviously with this image and this picture you got to think that there's going to be some cheesy poofs uh, my my hope uh, or uh, you know maybe that means a new card as well hopefully not an adventure one because all we've gotten this year so far is two adventure cards um but yeah so looks like we're gonna have a cheesy poofs event potentially next week um obviously we'll have more information on that next week when it, it when and if that happens um and stuff like that but there we go that's pretty much gonna be do it for the video i know this kind of probably went on longer than i really wanted it to go but um yes so there's gonna be some changes to the shop what do you guys think uh pro are you happy about it are you indifferent do you care all that kind of good stuff uh, you know again i'm a little late making this video but i felt like i still need to make it anyways because again i think some of you guys don't really look at the dev update uh if you care really about anything else within the dev update um there is going to be a weekend event tied to the visitors there's going to be a tournament chaos yet again for chaos mode uh there's a couple missions thrown in there and a tally two-day uh card based or i'm sorry token based event for the next two days um at the, as a recording of this video so nothing overly super exciting in all honesty for the weekend um maybe some of you it might be that way get some visitor copies but there you guys go thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it you know who it is and until next time guys